Hey guys, it's Fistful of Coffee, and today in so this Monster Legends Fleets video, we have a bunch of new leaks on the new Multiversal Era, as well as a new Relic and some new moves, so let's go and get right into it. Alright, so the first week we have is that there's going to be a Multiversal Era book, of course, with all the monsters in the Multiverse Era. So, pretty much just collect monsters in the Multiverse Era, and then you will get rewards out of the book. Which is, yeah, very cool. They do it for every era, and yeah, it's just really cool. And then we have Junk Jow's description right here, and we also have a skill update for Junk Jow. So, before the move applied, four times damage to all allies of Artifact was removed. That was probably his best move. It was very, very good. And then they removed the damage boost. So, yeah, it just sucks now. And, yeah, that makes him, as a whole, just not a very good monster anymore, honestly. He's just not very good. So, that does kind of suck, because he was actually really good, but, yeah, now he's not. And then we also have a description for the bounty hunt. So, yeah, Junk Jow is going to be the monster, and he will cost money so yeah definitely not worth money anymore don't spend money on him and then we also have his design down here if you want to know what he looks like he looks like this his adult form looks really cool actually i really like it his baby form looked cool as well but his adult form is even better in my opinion and then we have a Brankio's description right here. And we also have a Brankio's moveset. So let's just go ahead and go over that real quick. So he has an AoE, a blind, and stamina leak. He has a single target 100% stamina removal with drown, which is pretty good. He also has a 50% stamina removal with total blind. And then he has a blind to one enemy, drown to all enemies, stamina leak, and drown to all enemies. And then just an AoE attack move. So he does actually have some pretty decent moves. None of them are really great though. He's not too great of a monster, but he is at least decent so yeah that's gotta mean something he is at least decent definitely still try to get him out of whatever event he's in and yeah his description is right here if you want to go ahead and read that and then we also have a brand new ancestral relic called the honor dojo armor pretty much it'll poison all the enemies and do nature damage to all enemies and then it can also go ahead and give stamina to the wear and stamina regen which is really cool and then it can also go ahead and give armor to all allies and apply a random buff to all allies, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that is a pretty good relic, actually. I like that a lot. And you'll be able to get that out of the equipment challenge right here. And yeah, it will cost quite a few gems, though, so keep that in mind. And then we have that the new ranking resource for the new monsters out of the new era is going to be called Glitterine, which is a pretty cool name. So yeah, that is pretty great. And then we have Junk Jow's trait right here. He's going to have Hardened, Cooldown, Immunity, and Area Life Regen. None of those are good. They're just kind of bad. So yeah, Junk Jow will not be a very good monster. And then we have a new Virtue called Pierce. So this is really OP. Pierce is definitely one of the best things a monster can have. So the ancestor with it will probably be really great. But I guess we'll see. They kind of keep making really bad monsters. But it will probably be really good with Pierce. And yeah, those are going to be all the leaks for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are most excited for and what you guys think of Brinkio. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.